Hello Cancer and welcome to your horoscope. Now, all right, so I mean, we, we're seeing that the moon is going to be in your sign oh, on Thursday morning. So, Thursday, and there's really nice aspects that day, too, um, you know, with Neptune and moon and Mars and moon in trine. So, there's this awesome thing about spiritual action. Here's another take, you know, for you, you're going to get the most out of Mars and Scorpio because it's in your fifth house. And what is the fifth house? It's a house of creative expression. What is Scorpio's key phrase? I create. Do you have a creative child? Male children with Mars are probably going to be a little bit more prominent, but if you got, you know, just a really risk-taking female child too, they're going to be kind of in the news in your life. The other thing is for you, if you're an artist, writer, dancer, thespian, whatever it is, you know, you got to take some creative risk because they're going to be good. You're going to come up with good ideas. You're going to come up with um, great activity. And I had this revelation while giving this horoscope. It's like, what is Mars and Scorpio? It's Sufi dancing, people. It is Sufi dancing, the universal dance of peace and love. Is that when we take action and we direct it towards spiritual transformation, you know, the whirling dervishes, if you look up their tradition, the, the Anthean jinns that they might have partaken in even before they, they did these dances of universal peace, you get an idea. This is the kind of ultimate high-level scorpionic energy that we want to manifest. Sure, there, you know, there's horrible things. You know, in my area, you know, some foolish person had untrained dogs that killed their nine-year-old child. I mean, that's just like freaking nuts. You know, and we have people, police officers, that think that when there's an accident victim, the best thing to do is to pull your gun out and shoot them as they get out of the car. You know, I mean, that's pretty crazy stuff. And so I've seen this kind of thing, too, go on in, in, this, in these kind of periods and times. And I think it's just like we have to... Um, have compassion for victims, for perpetrators, all. In that way, we are not pulled into the drama. We are liberating ourselves, liberating others. Enjoy the transformation, cancer. 